All right. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. If you are in fact here, in fact I didn't put anything out about it. Doing some oh, the original. <laughs> Among Us. I love it. Uh, Twitter notification? Ow. Oh, okay. Alright. So we're playing on a program called ZDoom. Um, which allows for, like, mods and stuff like that. Um, and this is the Doom 4... Doom 4 for Doom, as it's called. This is a Doom 4 mod, which I think is pretty cool. I th One of the things it does, I guess, is that it adds, like, glory kills. I don't remember how to do them. Um... One of the, yeah, one of the things that does that it adds glory kills, which I don't actually know how to do. Um, it might just be right click. <gasps> Other, maybe? Is this like a custom thing? No. Weapons, inventory, action. I mean, it might just be the secondary fire option, which is uh, left or right click. Um, but I don't remember. There's a jump button, which there usually isn't in these games. They're in this game, so that changes a lot of what you can do in the game. Um, uh, it also might be weapon state. Yeah, there it is. It's F. Weapon state 2. Alright. Hello. Alright. Now that I remember how to play, <laughs> now we should be able to do this. I had to actually, like, stop and remember how to play the game, to be honest. It has been a very long time since I last played, like, the original Doom. Oop. Like I said, you can jump, which is kind of neat. Definitely not a natural feature. I think that's Z-Doom, though. I don't think that has to do with um, the Doom 4. Right. All right, back out here we go, because I need to pick up this armor. The nice thing is that it has that little thing at the top that tells you, like, where you are in, ca in uh, kills. Secret found, plus 100. Ow. That said, the implementation of glory kills and stuff isn't perfect. You know? It's still like using all the like standard features of the original. So... Bam! Five out of five demons killed. I didn't get all the secrets, but that's because I didn't get, like, one. So, I'm not worried about that one secret. Ow. 
This is a nice thing about the original Doom, though, is its customizability. There we go. Like, so much work has been put into customizing... Like, just about everything with the original Doom, and it's amazing. Um, I'm alright, I guess. I've had better days, but... I think, you know, everybody has had better days in these current times. I still wish I could play the uh, the Doom 1 mod for Doom 3, though. But, from what I can tell, Doom BFG Edition does not allow modding. Which really sucks, by the way. Like, it really sucks. Um... Sorry, I've got, like, people messaging me, too. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Alright. Alright, that was a noise from Quake, so that's interesting. Static Rifle. Oh, these actually have, like, secondary properties, too. Neat. That adds a whole new layer of gameplay. Like I said, I love these, like, mods for this game. It really takes something that has always been good. Never great, but always been good. And makes it something that you can call great, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I've always loved these games. Like, I've been playing these games since I was like 10. Um, I've just never been the greatest at them. The, uh,. The improvements through mods do make it easier, which I don't see as a problem. Which is one reason that I'm using, you know, mods to play this. Um, where is the secret in this area? Oh, I'm in the wrong area, that's why. Okay. I was going around in circles. It's this way. To the right here. Um, sort of? This way. Okay, just keep going forward. At this point. Yeah, here we go. This is the area I was looking for. I'm gone. There was an area where it, like, flashed even darker. Yeah, right here. This is the secret I was looking for. Also, I know that I'm playing, you know, Ultimate Doom, Doom 1, whatever you want to call it. But I have it listed as Doom 2, but that's because I couldn't find the original anywhere on Twitch. I could only find Doom 2 or Final Doom. 
And this is technically neither, but probably will go into it if I get that far in playing. I would like to do some of the levels I've never gotten through. Um, most, you know, namely episode four. What is generally considered the, uh, the, the ultimate doom section. Because it was added in ultimate doom. <laughs> but, you know, you gotta play through the, uh, the original. First. Are they fighting each other down there? Oh no, I can't quite see. Should have glory killed that guy, but oh well. There's still something alive somewhere. Um, still three things that are alive somewhere. <sighs> I wonder where. Um, whatever. I'm not going for a hundred percent kills on every level anyway. It's just three enemies. Ow! Or right, kill. Pinky. Ah! I'm about to die. So for anybody who likes difficulty, this Doom 4 does add a good bit of difficulty. This Doom 4... Doom 4 for Doom. It does add difficulty because like the enemy's weapons are enhanced and they do a lot more damage and stuff. Um, I'm not really too big of an advocate for difficulty, but if that is your thing, um, this is a good mod to add some difficulty. Like, If you're one of those people like me who's been playing this game forever and can basically get through on ultra violence and take like no damage normally this is great for replaying just because of that he goes the vacuum apologies if you hear a bunch of loud noises all of a sudden I don't know that I can kill them actually hi But yeah, it really ups the game a bit. Oh my god. Got him. Ah! Wow! That happened! I got annihilated. Hello? Game? There goes. Okay. Also, the nice thing I like about playing with mods is that the game doesn't immediately start you with nothing whenever you start a new le you know, have to restart a level. So that's always handy. Look at that! Oh, I killed it. Okay. So yeah! That extra difficulty! Woo! Granted, I am running around with a shotgun a lot. But I generally do the best when I'm using the shotgun, so... Um... Honestly, I don't know that I've ever played Doom 64. 
honestly, come to think of it. Like, I'm trying to recall, but I don't recall ever actually, like, playing it. I think that might be one that I never had access to as a kid. I do like Ultimate Doom. I prefer Doom 2. Doom 3 was good. Um, not nearly as bad as most people seem to claim. Like, a lot of people really don't like Doom 3, and... I don't know, I liked it. Doom 4 was, like, amazing. Or... 2016 or whatever you want to call it and I've not yet had a chance to play Doom Eternal but from what I've seen of it it looks awesome but again I've not really had a chance to play it so I can't really give my views on it you know can't be like oh Doom Eternal was great because it's like I, I don't know I've never played Doom Eternal Hacking, using the ability to jump to get to secrets, so that I don't have to do the speeds. I get it. Like you're sp not supposed, you're not supposed to be able to jump in this game. That's what makes finding these secrets hard. But I mean, I don't care. Rocket launcher. Probably not going to use that very often. But, you know, it's there. Let me get that backpack. Put that switch. Wow. I love the quake sounds. They got reused. But I am going to go back and get all the enemies before I clear the level via the secret path. I'm just, you know, hitting up the uh, this area here real quick. Ouch! Because this. Whoa, Rick, I forgot about him. This is a great time to use the rocket launcher. You just come up here and just decimate them all with the rocket launcher. Oh, don't want to fall. Okay. Alright, now we can run back and we can do that area. Ah! Did not expect. There's supposedly a secondary fire for the shotgun, but I'm not seeing it. Not sure what it do. This does that. Uh, no mods available. On the rocket launcher. We have to purchase those. I don't know if those are available in this, then, because... I mean, this is just regular Doom. I don't know if there's... Like, if in this mod they added anything for that in regular Doom. I'm sure there's a map or something that this is supposed to be used on. That adds, like, extra features, but... 
if there is, I don't know where to find it or anything. I just found the uh, the WAD and thought it was it's like Doom 4 for Doom. Heck yeah. Adds like the glory kills and stuff. I love it. If I have to say one good thing about yo, know, Doom 2016, it's that I love the whole like being able to get up and do the glory kill thing. The animations are great. Um, obviously there's a very, very limited amount of things you can do in this. For, you know, the glory kills and stuff. Did you? Where did you go? He was right there. Oh, he just, he went backwards. But... Supercharge! I think that gives me... Actually, I don't know what the supercharge gives you. thought it was that it gave you 200% um, both armor and... I... Um, health, but... I guess it just gave me 200% health. Completionist! Killed all the demons. Awesome. To open the upgrade menu, but you have to toggle the button in the option? Okay. Uh, any idea where that is? Because again, I am playing this on Z-Doom. Oh, okay. I have another weapon I didn't know about. It's not H or J. It's neither of those. Go into Doom 4 Doom mod options. Ah! Okay. Um, secondary priming mode. Upgrade mode. Um, modes won't take effect until a new game is started. Raids are purchased via the menu and all monsters give credits when killed. Any upgrade can be purchased at any time if you have enough. Um, okay, glory kill options. Um, spawn demon rooms. Keybinds, here we go. Um, oh, melee attack is F. Throw a grenade is G. Cancel. Demon room is J. Um, akimbo menu. H. Panic button. <laughs> oh, upgrade menu. K. Okay, I see it. Upgrade. Here we go. Weapons. Pistol. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. Static rifle? 9 volt battery. Cost 2500? Sure. Uh, charge gain, charge drain reduction. Rocket launcher. Detonator. Ah. Okay, repeater. Um, Pyrolite, Psychedary Ammo, um, Cindiary Damage, Primary Damage, Increases Ammo Cost, Plus One Target Penetration, Sure. Um, Triple Burst, oh I see, I spent a bunch of my credits now, so I'm only at I've only got 2,000 now. Um, okay. Power-ups. Suit upgrades. Ooh, 
All right, that's cool. Uh, crates. Remove small health and armor, ammo and armor items. Um, chance to spawn weapons, awareness crates, up items based around player status. Neat. Gambling addiction not included. <laughs> Neat. Okay, that's cool. I see the robots got working again. At the moment, yeah. No, Charlie. Well, it's out in the barracks at the moment, if you can kind of keep it up. Yeah. Oi. Got it. Oh, frick. I think I bought upgrades for the weapons I wasn't using. <laughs> like, I think I bought upgrades for, like, this. For example. Oi. Hang on. There's that. Yep. Saw that coming. Thank you, game. I was like, why is it not letting me? But then it did. So I'm good now. Ow. Like in 2016, use the siphon grenade to replenish your health. That that one, the red grenade thing. Yeah, it is. Okay, neat. Get him. Honestly, I don't know that I ever remembered to use the siphon grenade when I played through the... through Doom 2016. I really don't remember. It's been obviously four years since I've played it, so... Like, I don't think I've played Doom 2016 since it came out, to be honest. No, I played it on the Switch. Actually, yeah, I played it on the Switch, which didn't come out till 2017. And Doom on that wouldn't have even been immediate either. So... I don't know when I played it. I guess probably two years. I guess you'd have to look at YouTube because I did it on YouTube. So all the info's probably there. And I better than the stand in that room. And all the mobs are coming in. I haven't added any mods to my rocket launcher yet. Apparently. Oh, frick.
Gotta do the glory kills to replace, keep your health up too. Oh boy. That's really important. Getting the glory kills to keep up your health. I know that's how I usually kept up my health. Was I was like, oh, I'm low on health. I need to glory kill something. Oh, I keep hitting G and F at the same time. Rick. Definitely keeping up the ammo though for the shotgun. And I like that the uh, the the one like the Z Doom adds like infinitely spawning items. So it's like, hey, I'm low on armor. I can come pick up armor shards again, you know? I don't know how difficult this would be without that. It's been a long time since I played this. Like, legitimate, you know? Check if you have the bind for Switch mod. Okay. I will check in just a moment. Ooh, frick! I didn't realize they could just rush you like that. Let's get a rocket these guys. Holy crap! There's only like four of these guys normally. I didn't realize D for Doom added this. One moment. Hello? I have no idea who that was. I literally have no idea who that was. It was somebody calling about a warranty, I guess. Uh, let's see. Switch weapon mods. Here we go. Set that to... What do you say? Q? First fire, select fire. The mods available on that. Whoa! Not enough charge. I don't even know what this is. Is that the plasma rifle? Maybe? When did I pick that up? Um, I do have some stuff I could do though. Let me do the triple burst. on the shotgun. Cool. Alright. Probably should have considered doing the grenade, but this is fine. The grenade is really good in Doom 2016. The shotgun grenade. Probably what I should have considered doing, but I was like, triple burst! That's what I did. Does use more ammo though, because obviously I'm shooting three instead of just one. So I know I'm technically going around in the wrong order. But I can jump. Uh, well, oh well. I don't think I needed that anyway. I think those were rockets.
Oh, I have no other mods available. So you can't disable it once you've activated the triple burst. Oh! That, I think that's the triple burst. Actually. But I wasn't even using it. I just thought I was. Nice! Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Oh boy. Thank you for that. I definitely would not have even known that I didn't have that active. I like that. I like that a lot. Gotta. Gotcha. Well. Oi. Forgot how to use the grenade there for a second. <laughs> I'm trying to use the grenade and completely forgot how to use it at first. Then I remembered. It was the G button. Too many key bindings. <laughs> like as games get more complex and as they add more key binds, I always wonder like how these games are playable with controllers that only have like five buttons. Oh, that is really helpful, actually. Because, yeah, this this mod definitely added way more difficulty. Like, it added more enemies and, like, made some of the enemies more difficult and things like that, I've noticed. Because there were definitely more freaking pinkies on that last level than they normally are. That come out when you hit the uh, the blue door. Whoa! <sighs> I know I keep pausing, but. I just, I have people that I'm having semi-important conversations with over on Discord. Semi-important. Not like I need to be, you know, paying perfect attention, but like... Conversations where it's like, I need to be paying attention to this person because... Stuff they're saying is important right now. This is the room I was thinking of. I have to like hit that switch and then run on before it goes up. Because that only shows up for like a split second. Like it, uh, like once it goes up, it doesn't come back down at all. Kind of, where's the blue door? Oh, over here, I think. I mean, regardless, this is a different way. So. Hi. Hi. 
Oh yeah, this in the original like release, this was a swastika because it was a reference to um Wolfenstein. But they changed it. Because even when even when you're depicting Nazi stuff as bad, for some odd reason it's still bad. <laughs> It's like, it's bad to depict Nazi stuff, even when you're depicting it as bad. It's like, uh, but you, you're not praising it, you're saying this is bad. And it was bad. Also, the swastika isn't even the Nazi symbol. I mean, it is, but like, it wasn't initially. It's a sign, I think it's like a sign for victory or something like that. Because the Nazis were using... And now people just don't see it as that anymore. They just see it as the Nazi symbol. And it's like, I mean, it's way more than just the Nazi symbol, people. <laughs> and I get it. You know, it, it really is, you know, the Nazis are a really bad thing. And unfortunately, we're having a return of them here with our Lord and Savior, Donald Trump and his goons. God, that is so nice to be able to use that on those pinkies. <laughs> um, but I think that's about as political as I will get. I mean, I'm sure people come to streams to get away from all that, after all. Where are you? I hear you. Somewhere in this maze is something still alive. Hear it. I thought. Ow. Nope, it was just that guy. Good thing I didn't keep searching. That said, you do get more credits for killing, for 100% killing, so. It may not even be 100% kills, it may actually be 100%ing the whole level of like item pickups and secrets since it's completionist. The shots that these guys have do so much more damage in this than they do in regular Doom 1. Ah, little oh, frick. Very person do not mind talking politics anywhere except when I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, politics when you're trying to sleep would definitely keep you awake. I can see that. Ah. Ow. Keep hitting the melee and the grenade at the same time. And that does not help. I mean, I don't try to avoid talking politics. I'm not like some streamers and YouTubes that are like, the moment politics starts up in chat or something, it's like, nah, 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 avoid that. You know? But... You know, I, I try not to make more than just off-handed comments, if I can. Freaking... Dang! That is so nice! Oh boy, that siphon grenade is so nice. 
God dang. I, I definitely have to say thanks for telling me about that, because... Wow, that has saved my butt so many times. Like, it really has. I don't remember where I'm trying to go. Oh, yellow. Right. Boom, boom. Same with the mods. Like, purchasing the mods, like the triple shot, has been really nice. Oh, I thought that was a pinky. No, that's a pinky. I knew there was one down there. Wasn't even gonna think about going into the room till that elevator was clear. Ooh, frick! I just, that was. Yep. Easily one of the best equipments in 2A16 and this mod. It is. I will agree. <sighs> Definitely makes the shotgun a much nicer weapon. The uh, the triple shot. Oh frick you, stupid vacuum! My mom bought this robot vacuum thing, and it has not worked since day one. I'm sure you heard earlier where she was like, it's working today. And I'm like, oh, we'll see. <laughs> I was like, uh, it seems to be at the moment. It, it's literally sitting out in the bedroom airing right now. I'm just like, okay. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> the thing just doesn't, it doesn't work. Our house is too... I don't know what, but it's, it's, it's not set up to be able to use one of those things. That thing constantly, like, cannot figure out how to get anywhere. It regularly gets stuck in things. It's not... It's not the robot's fault. I should clarify. It's the, the way the house is. The way that our house is, it's... Just, it, it's not able to use something like that. So, let's see. Um, static rifle. Oh, is that the repeater? Is that what that is? Um, hold the lock on, then primary to fire. Shotgun, we'll do the grenade. And yeah, like, I got, I don't know, like, I, I have the repeater, but I don't know what I need to, like, actually charge it, because I assume that's this, but I don't have enough charge on the repeater. I don't know what it needs. Like, fire, burst fire. So now I've got the grenade and the triple shot. Boom! Hi! Ah, oh, frick! Pain! I had to like 
instigate the combat with them. Right. They come from behind. Ah, oh boy. Let's try that one. Let's try that again, shall we? I mean, that grenade upgrade definitely seemed like it would have worked. If I had remembered that the enemies came from behind me. Kind of forgot that they came from behind. Hi! That's why I don't remember seeing you. Try that again. <laughs> we'll get through this level. Use a chainsaw to replenish ammo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget. Forget about the chainsaw. And I don't know that I'm having any issues with ammo. It's... I'm definitely having issues with health. But that's just because, like, there's a lot more enemies in this than there are normally with this mod. And I did not know that when I added it. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool, you know. Like, it really, it's actually pretty cool. I like this. It's just like, okay. You know, just kind of getting used to... The, uh, the new layout and the way the enemies are situated and stuff now. Being that it's very different. As for the enemies coming from behind, I just needed to remember that they came from behind. Ah! I didn't even see him there. Feel like that. Boom. Still very two dimensional. <laughs> One thing with the mod, yeah, you don't really struggle at all with ammo, which is kind of nice. That's one of the things that I did like about the new, like, Doom 2016. Is there were points where it was like you had to glory kill to keep up ammo, you know? But... Even during those points, it was still like you ran around and you did the things. And if you did it, you kept up your ammo with no problems. It was very much designed around that. And I feel like that's one thing people didn't like is the fact that it was so heavily designed around. Like the way the, the new ammo system worked. But I didn't mind it. I had no issues with it. I thought it was a neat and unique concept to be like, hey, so, you know, ammo is something you've got to, like, do this thing that we've supplied you with to keep up just because, like, it doesn't, it didn't add any, any sort of unfair difficulty, um, it just added difficulty, you know? 
it was a learning curve though. I will 100% agree with. And I get that people had an issue with that because it was a learning curve. But it was like, the whole idea of the game was run, gun, glory kill. And the way that they made it so that it was a little more focused on glory killing was by making that your main source of ammo. And... I don't know, I guess I just didn't have too much of an issue with it, personally. Like, when you, when you did the glory kills regularly and properly, you really never felt like you had issues with ammo. You know, it's mostly like, I feel like the, you know, what I've seen of it. Um... Like, whenever I see, like, a YouTuber play, you know, and because they're not, like, because they're, like, trying to entertain and go, their mi mind isn't focused on, like, entirely on what they're doing, and so they sit there and just shoot because it's easy to just shoot, and then they're like, I'm out of ammo all the time. It's like, you wouldn't be if you were playing properly, <laughs> you know? It's one of those, it's the, it's the YouTube, YouTuber conundrum, you know. Also, um, you know, having played it myself on YouTube, you know, the, the siphon grenade. I don't know that I really used that, like, at all on Doom 2016. But I also don't know that I really realized that that was an option. Probably because of the fact, you know, the YouTuber conundrum where it's like, you know, you're trying to... God, I hate this part. It's so hard to see anything. Is that where I want to go? I mean, it is. Like, it's actually technically is where I want to go, but... I want to find the thing so I can see the enemies right here. Got it, okay. Whew. Of course, I find that after I've killed everything, I bet. I knew these guys were here, though, so... Well, I got all the demons. I didn't find all the secrets. But that's okay. I don't care. Found the addition quite clever and fun. Yeah. When you when you get it, you know, it's like, oh hey, you know, I get it now. And then you realize, oh, you know, this is actually kind of a neat mechanic, you know. I understand people that couldn't figure it out complaining about it. And don't get me wrong, like it's completely like understandable that people would have issues with it. Like, I can 100% understand where people had issues with it. And I don't even remember, like, my own playthrough well enough to be able to say if I was one of those people that was like, oh, I don't like this, you know? Because when you're playing it, at, you know, during the moment, you're a little more focused on, you know, playing than you are, like, whether or not you think a mechanic is good or not. And when something happens that frustrates you, it can, especially when you're doing, like, a YouTube, you know, it can, um, it, it really can just be like, okay, I've done this, like, six times, and I can't get it, you know, and you're frustrated. Because... It's not just that you've done it six times, but, like, you have that mentality of, like, well, is this fun to watch, you know? I've done this six times on camera. Do people really like watching that? And then you get frustrated because you think, oh, you know, people aren't going to like this, you know? And then now, regardless of whether or not you might normally think it's a good mechanic when you're playing... Now you don't just because you're streaming it, you know, or, you know, recording it or whatever, you know. Like, you might 
find the mechanic perfectly fine when you're playing one-on-one -on -one by yourself. But when you're pl recording, it's a completely different thing, you know? I've had that more than I can count in streaming and recording. It's, it's like something just frustrates me. And again, you, it's, it's really hard to separate whether you're frustrated because you don't find it fun or whether you're frustrated because you think other people won't find it fun. You know? It's like, you know, because you think, oh, this is not going to be fun to watch, and therefore now you're frustrated. Not because the mechanic isn't good, not because it's not fun, but because you're not thinking of the mentality of a gamer, but as a viewer. You know, is it fun to watch me struggle with this? And part of me would say yes. Like, a lot of people do enjoy the whole YouTubers struggling through things. So, in to one degree, it's like, yes, watching this YouTuber struggle through this is fun, you know? Because it is, it can be fun to watch somebody get annoyed and upset and aggravated and stuff like that. But also... When it's a more playful aggravation, it's better. When it's legitimate rage, it doesn't feel as good to watch, you know? If that makes sense. I know Aaron from Game Grumps has talked about that before, where it's like, he can feel that, like, you know, when he's playing a game and he's upset at the game, but he's not actually upset versus when he is really upset and then it really gets into that more mentality of okay, is this really fun? You know? Is it enjoyable to watch? And I completely understand that, so... And some of it is the uh, the streamer, YouTuber, recorder, whatever, entertainer mentality, you know? Like, a, a lot of that can't be understood unless you have done, you know, entertainment kind of thing. And I think that's one thing that some people miss, is that it's not as easy to realize the struggle when you haven't done it. You know? It's like, it's not... Whoa, okay. It's not just about, you know, playing the video game. You've got to be entertaining while playing the video game. And that can be a struggle. Just in its own right. I hope everything I'm saying makes sense. I'm just kind of babbling on here. I feel like I'm just babbling and not making any coherent, like, sense at this point. So hopefully I am making some sort of coherent sense. I don't know why I used the siphon grenade there. I also don't usually have anybody to talk to when I do these streams. So it's kind of nice having somebody in the chat for once. So that on its own is like, now I really want to talk because like, oh hey, somebody's here, you know? I am getting blasted! Ahow! Boom! My armor went from full to nothing very quickly! I do love the quake noises though. God, cat, when are you left to stink?
Alright. Beep. Bang, bang, bang. You know, I bought the grenade and I just haven't been using it because this triple shot is so good. <laughs> Oy. Okay. I think I had that issue too in the original, like in Doom 2016. I seem to recall getting one of these upgrades and then being like oh this is so good you know oh frick I might be in trouble I can't believe I survived that <laughs> I was completely cornered there the fact that I survived that really surprised me. I was for sure that I was done there. There are three more enemies and one more secret somewhere in this level. And now that it's like, oh, hey, this is all going towards, like, my... Ooh. Oh, did I get the chain gun itself at some point? Oh, I did. Okay. I don't know when this dropped. But neat. I don't know how long I've had the chain gun for. Where are these last few lads, though, I wonder? That's the real question. I honestly don't have the slightest clue where the other three enemies are. Apparently I can see everything, though. Including the, like, entities. There's a spot where there's some kind of movement. One, two, three. Thought I picked... I thought I got that secret. Oh, there's like a secret right here, maybe? Where is that? The yellow key? That might be where they are too, because it's like a a yellow um like there's three like entities there. Let's find out. Nope, these are just upgrades of some kind. I don't know. Don't know where these last three lads are. That kind of sucks. Hi! I guess I found them. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Is there usually like enemies in that? Yep. Found them. Completionist! Now that I'm realizing that's going towards the credits, I'm kind of wanting to, like, find all the stuff. Because credits are good. Um, let me buy something before doing anything else. Let me get the lock on. Sleek Lance. Penetration. Okay. Converter proto generator. 
Take their charge speed. Enables primary auto fire. Slower than rapid tapping. Well, this adds more primary damage. Even though I don't know that I need that really. Power flux freezes time for five seconds. He who moves at the speed of stupid is a traffic jam on an interstate. Or a fly whose brain goes butt first on a windshield. He who moves at the speed of dope fish retards the human race with large buck teeth and obnoxious belching. Wow. <laughs> Insights, hallucinations of being a monster truck that walks like a man. Has permanent plus one damage reduction, or one percent. Applies to demon runes. The resonator. Romero's Energizing Cologne. Bat Country called. They want their fanboys back. Plus 100%. Plus 1000% explosion damage. 100% uh, movement speed. 100% jump height. Stacks with other movement upgrades. Plus 100 health overdeal. Plus regeneration capacity. Steroids without consequences. Negative 50% regen time delay. Armor regenerates when health is full. Oh, that would be nice. If I had a penny for every time MC Hammer's been referenced. Reflects projectiles back at attackers. Vulnerability loss passing through monsters. Reflects 20% damage back to enemy attackers. Runs invulnerability to instant death effects. You mad death? <laughs> you mad death attacks? Troll face PNG. Quad damage. Penta damage. Boost damage from four to five hundred percent. Jack the Ripper returned your call. Jack is back, baby. Neat. Then these are just suit upgrades. Like extra maximum health, which admittedly these would also be good to pick up. Um, I know we're pretty close to finishing off Doom 1, or Episode 1 of Doom 1, so, um, yeah, I think we got two levels left. Yeah! That's the damage I like to see. <laughs> death. This is definitely a good Doom mod. It takes just about everything that's good about Doom 4 and just makes it good. <laughs> like adds it to Doom, you know? And up the difficulty a bit by adding in like 15,000 more enemies. Which is great. Nope. I don't have the yellow key. I knew that already. Hi. Now I have the yellow key. Oh no, I didn't know that already. That was the red key I was looking at. Okay. Hi! Being able to aim is nice. Can't aim in the original Doom. Not really, no, but you can in this one. <laughs> Well, the nice features of Z Doom. I could see Doom Purists though being like, "That's hats or something," you know.
For example, you're definitely not supposed to be able to jump out that window. Aha! Ouch! I was getting too com overconfident on that, I'll admit. <sighs> There are so many enemies. Like right when you open the door. Oh. I had a grenade launcher of some kind. Still no charge. For I assume the repeater. Ow. I'm just glad this version of the chain gun doesn't have like a charge up. That was one thing I didn't really like. Was the chain gun having to like charge up before you could start shooting. I mean sure it was more realistic that way but still. Realism doesn't necessarily always need to be a thing in video games. I mean, come on. You're picking up freaking med packs that instantly heal you somehow. You want, you want to talk realism. So I guess it's better than, you know, just auto-regeneration. Like in call of, all the Call of Duty games. It's just like, oh yeah, you just regenerate your health randomly. I guess with the Call of Duty games, I wouldn't care so much. If they weren't meant to be like, war game. Like, realistic war games. Telling like, actual war stories. But I guess the more modern ones aren't. But even the modern the modern ones are terrible anyway, regardless. I guess that's why I like Doom, because it doesn't try to be realistic at all. It's like You've got, yo, know, futuristic space age weapons and stuff. Uh, I guess like that's one of the thing I've always preferred in my shooters is that they're not realistic. <laughs> you know? I like the space age, you know, shooter type thing. Darn it. Didn't even hit anybody with that. Oh, hi. Just go ahead and siphon some health there. That really is a nice ability. Oh, frick. I have heard people saying that, like, current Doom is basically just Call of Duty. I don't think I... Wow! I don't think I agree with that. I remembered I had the rocket launcher. It was like... Hey, wait a bit. This is a good chance to use it. <laughs> I 
Did not mean to use that, but okay. Also, I feel like a lot of enemies drop shotgun ammo. And there aren't that many enemies that drop just about any other kind of ammo. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, a lot of like, a lot of, I feel like a lot of the people that say that are the ones that are like, yeah, you kill something and it just drops a health pickup, you know? It's like, where's the challenge, you know? You just, your health is just always full because you're always getting health pickups. It's like, but you're not always getting health pickups? In fact, you're regularly not getting health pickups. In fact, even when you do get regular health pickups, you're getting smacked for like 50% of your health. And you get 10% pickup. You know? But yeah, like you said, they're purists. You can't really reason with them. I didn't do anything. Oi! My favorite purists are the kind that are like, oh, this remake is gonna ruin the original game. Like, the original game still exists, you know? Yes, it makes the game accessible to more people by remaking it, but the original game still exists. There might not be, like, copies of it might not be, you know, produced anymore because, I don't know, it's a cartridge-based or... You know, something like that. Like Ocarina of Time or, you know, N60, some of the N64 games or stuff. But it's like, the original exists. You can't ruin the original. You know? To me, remakes ruining the original is only possible via the remake doing something that makes light of something that was bad in the original to begin with. And at that point, you've only ruined the nostalgia of the original. It's like, that was already, like, that was a thing, you know? That didn't just suddenly come into existence because of the remake. Like, that was just always a thing. I feel like that's what people talk about when they're like, oh, the remake's gonna ruin the original, is they've changed something in the remake that makes light of an issue that the original had, and now the original is ruined because they can't, like, they can't play the remake and then go back to the original without knowing that fault is there now, kind of thing. Now it's ruined the original game for them. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's kind of what I see. I don't actually know how you normally get out here. Oh, okay. I can just jump right back in. I didn't think I could jump back in the window, so I thought I had screwed myself. I had not. Nice! I'll take that armor. That's something I hadn't really realized, was that if your health goes full, it starts giving you armor. That's really handy. What? 
Ow. Something over there was supposed to get me over here, I guess? Maybe the door, maybe the door is just not open yet. Right here, maybe? Guess maybe that opens at some point, and then you go through to get to there. Go oh, frick! Did not mean to fall down here. Oh, interesting. Ha! Ah, hi! I feel like I'm opening secrets that I shouldn't be opening. <laughs> Like, batches of enemies are still... You know, like, doors are being opened for enemies that shouldn't be open yet. Because I'm hitting secrets that I shouldn't be able to hit yet. <laughs> Which is entirely possible. Oh. Ah! Not until you hear that... That's like, oh crap, I'm about to die. Whoa! I see something is trying to attack me from somewhere over there. All the way over there. All the way over there. This was always the hardest level for me. I'm sure it was probably just is like the hardest level because Phobos Anomaly is not difficult. You know, it's just killing the two Barons of Hell, which is relatively easy, honestly. This was like always the hardest level. At least in, you know, the first episode of Doom. I think it's actually kind of funny that, like, the original, like, game release model was to put out, like, episodic games. And, like, you put out the first for free, but then, you know, you have... People call an order to get the uh, the second and third and things like that. And nowadays, it's like we're kind of going back to that with like games doing the um, like early access. So you release this game on early access, a bunch of people get their hands on it, they play a little bit of it, and then that makes you the money to produce the whole game, you know? Hi! I guess I hadn't opened that door yet. Thought I had gone that way, but I oh, know I have gone this way. It's probably just a like extra side section opened up somewhere to allow those guys out. Probably right here. Blue door. Boom. This one. This level is also kind of confusing, to be honest. So I may have killed all the enemies on that side by jumping out that window. Bang. Yep, I killed all the enemies. Wow. Alright. I mean, I'm good with that. I have to wait for these guys to come after me now. Here we 
we go. The last level. Phobos Anomaly. Let me just go ahead and buy... Um... I have a HAR. H-A-R. I don't know what that is. Is that... Oh, is that what this is, maybe? Is that the HAR? Probably. Yes. This music. I can't buy anything. Do -do. So it's a rapid tapping lance mode device. Chain gun. Gatling rotator. Hold the spin. Can't do that. Uh, movement speed while deployed. Don't need that. What about the static rifle? No, I can't buy anything. I don't have enough. The guy who made this mod is working on adapting Doom Eternal. Ooh! I want it! <laughs> I want it! That sounds awesome! Boom! Oh, frick! That usually kills them all. Can they not get up here? I don't know if that's normal functionality or something due to the mod. They couldn't get up there. No, they couldn't get up here. Okay. Because, yeah, I had to... Like, once you're down, you can't get back up. Well, that's a nice little mechanic to consider. For dealing with those. Well, I've actually never known in all my years of playing this game <laughs> that you could literally just stand up there and kill them all. Usually I shoot them, it blows up the barrels, kills most of them, and like one or two is left and I just run in and kill. Didn't realize you could just stand up there and keep killing them. Dang it. I was trying to get the glory kill on that guy. I couldn't. I was trying to kill the guy behind so I could get the glory kill on the one in front, but whatever. It worked out in the end. Oh. Wait. Ah, uh, I have a new weapon here. I didn't even realize this was here. Oh, this is the this is the har, the heavy assault rifle. Right, that's a thing. Micro missiles. Right. Yeah, it is really nice when you can like continue to discover things in a game that you've played for like ever before. Yes. I love the micro missiles. Definitely not as, you know, unlimited in Doom 2016 as they are here. They are vastly more unlimited, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know why they were fighting each other. I, mean, I know that's a thing that, like, they, you know, they can do that. They can fight each other like that. But, like, I didn't think the Barons of Hell could fight each other. That's funny. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Once you beat the big baddies and clean out the moon base, you're supposed to win, aren't you? Aren't you? Where's your fat reward and ticket home? What the hell is this? So I was supposed to end this way. It stinks like rotten meat. Looks like the lost day must base. It's like you're stuck on the shores of hell, and the way out is through. Continue the Doom experience, play Shores of Hell, and it's amazing sequel, Inferno. It's software. Man, it's amazing to think that small of a group made a game. Like, this would never happen nowadays, you know? You would never have that few people able to make a game like this. Freaking John Carmack. I guess that's just where it ends. It doesn't... John Carmack and John Romero are the two big names that did all that uh, did all the stuff with this. Very nice. Alright, well... Um, we're probably going to move on to episode 2 next. Just because we can. Shores of Hell. Um, I am going to split up the VOD here. Um, so to the people of the VOD, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, since this is up on YouTube, you can feel free to subscribe. There will be a link down below to the, uh, the rest of Doom, you know, the, the playlist. Um, so feel free to check that out. And uh, these are streamed live, twitch.tv slash sereneinc. Feel free to come out, hang out with us, chat. And uh, again, for those on the VOD, I'll see you guys next time. Um...